Okay, I'm just uh, just going to do a quick one. This is an answer to a question for Video Studio Pro X6 Ultimate. The audio doesn't work. I know that uh, some for some reason some of us have a problem with this. I'm just going to show you the settings I have for sound on my computer and the audio works. This is Windows 7. Start. We want control panel. First thing we're going to look at is sound. And you get a whole bunch of, uh, if I can make this bigger, no, of course not. Okay, Dell, that's my um, monitor. I'm not getting the sound out of the monitor. I'm using my speakers from my computer because it's better sound. And that's the default. It's check mark. When you want to make something the default, you just click it. And then down here, use the set default button. Okay, for right now, we've highlighted it. We're going to look at the properties on the general tab. Uh, speakers, Realtek High Definition Audio. We can look at those properties. Uh, this device is working properly, etc., etc. So I don't have to do anything there. On the levels, okay, use this device. Make sure you enable, you know, whatever device you have as the default. Or levels, okay, that's just set to your personal you know whatever you want now on enhancements the only thing I have check marked under enhancements is immediate mode okay nothing else is check marked if you check mark or uncheck something be sure to come down here and click the apply button Dolby audio enhancer is check marked and on the advanced tab I have it set for studio quality you can set it uh, for 44, 100 studio quality, etc. But studio quality gives me good sound, so that's what I check mark. Under exclusive mode, neither one of these is checked. They are both unchecked. Okay, and that's all I have under speaker properties. And under recording, I'm not using the microphone, I'm using a stereo mix. And if you want to, you know, if I wanted to make the microphone the default, you set that as the default device. Under Stereo Mix Properties, we're going to see some of the same things, basically. Under the General tab, make sure, once again, it's enabled. Under Listen, you can listen to Portable Music Player, blah, blah, blah. Power Management, Continue Running. Levels, same thing, whatever you find. Um, enjoyable now on enhancements immediate mode and DC offset cancellation are both check marked okay so on enhancements on the stereo mix properties immediate mode and DC offset cancellation are both check marked on the advanced tab same thing two channels 16 bit 4800 Hertz DVD quality and on this one exclusive mode Allow applications to take exclusive control of this device. Give exclusive mode applications priority. Are both check marked? Okay, that's on my stereo mix properties, and that's important. You want the application, whatever application needs to, needs to be able to control. Okay, the stereo mix. And on sounds, those are just computer sounds, and on communications. When Windows detects communications, do nothing. Just let it go. Okay, and that's all I have under sound. Now, Realtek Audio Manager just kind of reflects what's your sound settings. So on your speakers, okay, the configuration is stereo, full range. I have Waves Max Audio, which you may or may not have. I just keep it as a default. Dolby once again reflects the audio enhancer is on and the default format is the same one I chose 24 bits 4800 Hertz okay now over here you can set the default device which we've already done and that's it okay so hopefully something rings a bell here it could be the fact I have the stereo mix instead of just the regular you know speakers done or microphone or whatever so I hope this helps a little bit.